Hi, I'm Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform Delta, and welcome to Mr. Mud's Ham Radio Time slash everything else. Hey, today I am going to show you something I made up. It's not just one ordinary go-to battery box. It is the Swiss Army Knife of battery boxes. I tell you, it has everything that you want to know, and I'm going to show you how it's built, what's inside this little box right over here, and what it could do. So let's not uh, waste any time. Let's get right to it. You guys are going to want to watch this. And I guess you guys are going to want to rewind it. And you're going to watch it again. Because it has so much so much potential. And so much you could do with it. The whole design of this box was to have a quick get up and go power supply. If you need an emergency. So if you're having some sort of storms outside or something. You need to grab your battery. You got it. You could grab it. It's also designed to be continually used. I use this on my uh, my HF radio in the QTH here in the shack. It's always supplying power to my battery or to my, my radio. If the power goes out, the battery is still continuing to be used because it's all in this box. It's always being charged. And you're probably asking, how is it getting charged? Who's putting up their hand? It is getting charged with a USB-C power supply that you would use on your laptop. That's right. That's all you're using on us right now. But like I said, it is the Swiss army knife of go boxes and battery boxes. You don't just have to use a USB-C charger to charge it. You could use these terminals on top to plug it into your solar panels. You could use the other ones to plug it into another battery you have laying around. I had a video on that. Any DC source that's between six volts DC to get the, the boost converter working, up to 50 volts input is going to work and you're going to be able to charge this. So you guys, you don't want to look at my face here. Let's get going here and I'll show you what this thing's all about. So right here, this is just a normal ammo can. You'll see right over here is a USB-C charger. Take this. It's a 65 watt charger and let me get it, uh, get my face off of there. Right here is where you'll plug in your USB-C. Plug that in. And you'll see the whole thing coming to life. Now you may ask, what is all this stuff? Well, okay, behind here is I got a Dakota lithium battery, uh, 18 amp hour. You can use any battery you want to use. Over here is the solar controller. Here's the boost converter. So this is what's taking my right now 20 volts DC and putting up to 21. And I'll explain that in a second. And right here is the interface for the USB-C for an output. And I'll explain this as well. I've got a little adapter cable here so you can have a nice connection on the side of the box. And then on the outlet, I just have it going to my radio. I have a little kind of different couple connections here. So what is all this stuff, right? There's a lot of stuff going on here. And let's go to it. I am I'm using... The uh, Victron Energy MPPT 120. I've had a couple videos on this. This is what is taking all the power. I'm using the PV inputs from all my power supplies. The battery is connected obviously to the battery in the box and the load is the output going to my radio or whatever you want to use. In order for this to work, like I said before, is you need to be about 5 volts above your battery float. So if it's 14 volts, you need to be obviously 19 volts. So we need, we need to put in 20 volts into it. What are we gonna, how are we gonna do that? Well, we are gonna use this guy. This guy is a DC to DC boost converter. Um, it is a 600 uh, watt, yeah, the 600 watt one. The thing about this one that you guys really need to know, I'll clip on this picture right here, is you need the ability to output, regulate the output voltage and the current. Sounds simple, right? Well, your charge controller can overload any other component that's on here, like the, the really weak power supply from the compute, from the laptop. So by regulating your, your amperage input, you are going to also regulate how much power you're drawing off your, your little, uh, little uh, laptop co controller. So... I'm not going to go into too, too much detail on that, but I'm going to make a, a detail doing the fine tuning of this. It took a lot of building 
experimenting and tuning and finding the proper amperage to get everything to work. Lastly, these guys right over here, and they've gone up in price, but you're getting four of them for $31 right now. This is uh, an Amazon.ca store. So the .com, which I'll give a link to, will be a lot cheaper than this. These guys here will take your USB-C input and the way USB-C works is they'll have a resistor pull on it. Whatever resistor it sees, that's what the power is going to be putting out if it's capable of doing it. And right here's the little switches. So I got mine set up for 20 volts right now. We're going to be 20 volts, 65 watts, uh, kind of roughly I'm pulling about 3 amps out of that power supply. So that is going to get you working on that. And this is the way to do it you you have to you have to get these parts you guys i'm just telling you this is uh, this is a must have for any prepping any backup supply that you could have this could be your own only power supply in your whole shack it worked for me it's and it's and it's clean there's no noise now you got to use a proper USB C adapter because i have some cheap ones where they produce a little bit of noise on the bands but my Dell computer one was the cleanest. So I'm gonna be doing some more experimenting, finding out what's gonna be the good ones for you guys so you don't have to go out and buy a whole pile of, uh, of crap off of Amazon. And here's a back, uh, here's a, a live feed of the, the charger. Well, actually it's still frame now. This is what is uh, the, the Vitron, Vitron charge controller is doing. And with this controller, you also have the ability of how much charge you're gonna put in your battery down the chain how much load you're going to put on the boost converter and how much you're going to be doing it on the other converter for the USB-C. Make sense? Probably not. Rewind it, watch it again, watch it again, watch it again. It will clue in and like always leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer them and get you guys building this because you guys need to build this. I'm telling you, this thing's, this thing's going to be a lifesaver. It's going to get you out of any kind of situation. You grab this, has a little handle on it out the door and you got yourself a power supply and you can use anything to charge it. The Swiss army knife of the gold boxes of radio or whatever you want to use this for, it could be all yours. Get on, build it. Hey, for now, thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe, comment below like before and hey, 73s, see you hams on the bands.